Hello YouTube, it's Borders Dude and I'm back with a discussion video and this one is entitled The Collector's Crisis Conundrum What do I mean by those three C's? Now recently on my channel I reviewed fans hobby God Delta Their TFCon exclusive Power Baser take that gives him an Ultra Magnus flavour and gives him the Ultra Magnus head sculpt as well as Ultra Magnus' shoulder cannons and that fits in my collection because as you know I'm a massive Ultra Magnus fan and have a reasonable collection of Ultra Magnus figures. But after transforming that figure back and forward and doing that review, it really highlighted how much I am starting to enjoy third party figures on a wider basis. And that causes a conundrum for my collection. As you know, I have been mostly a Generations collector. And I have already started from scratch with Generations once they did that soft reboot from the War for Cybertron trilogy onwards. Now of course when it comes to Generation 1 people always laugh at the sense of scale because of the cartoon. And yes, the cartoon doesn't have anything that resembles a unified scale whatsoever. But I feel that John Morden and his team when they started the Generations line from that soft reboot point, they looked at Takara's masterpiece version and how other third party companies slotted in their offerings into that scale and thought that it would work well from a Generations and indeed Studio Series perspective. And it does and it's worked so well, so well to the point that for the most part when I've got a new version of that figure from the Generations line, an older one has went. And I'm at the point now where I have almost completed, or at least in my view, to the point of my satisfaction, completed the Transformers figure line in that scale. And I do not want to start that again once more. Of course, you can have a look at my collection and you can see I. If, it's, if it goes in shot, I'm sure it does. I have the Mastermind Creations Bruticus. I have the Make Toys Chrome Dome there. I'm collecting the Mastermind Creations Protectobot set. And I have the Mastermind Creations Feral Rex. Now for those combiners in particular, I justified them on the basis that they do scale well with the Generations line. Mastermind Creation figures as a whole aren't really MP scaled, they sort of have a, a go-between and especially with the combiners they fit tremendously well with the figures in the Generations line. But figures like the Make Toys Coppola and also their contact shot that I purchased recently, they are more third-party masterpiece style scaled figures. And picking up more MP styled figures such as the Transarts Rat Trap earlier in this year and now I find myself looking towards other figures such as the Fans Toys Minibots, other Fans Toys offerings that are coming out such as the, uh, the, the Aerial Bots that they're reissuing as well as other third party offerings that are out there and looking at all them and being tempted and almost pulling the trigger on some of them is what doesn't scare me, because you know, collecting figures shouldn't scare you. It just gives me a bit of concern that I'm going to end up going down a rabbit hole and looking to start again with the collection. And I really don't know if I want to do that. Probably not. I don't really have that time, that energy to start again from the beginning and especially with third party stuff because it's done in such a limited capacity with very few reissues you're paying ridiculous prices on the aftermarket so I don't want to go down that realm. Ultimately what I think I'm going to do is just cherry pick from various third party companies and get some figures that I like. I'm not going to be as fussed for scale as I have been with the Generations line because that's become a learned behaviour because of how well they all scale together. With third party stuff that I do pick up, if I do start to pick up additional third party stuff, it's just going to be from various scales, various companies apart from X-Transbots, 
and I think that'll be the best way for me to enjoy other figures out with the generation scale. Over to you, have you ever had this collection crisis conundrum? Let me know in the comment section below if you have and if you did have, what did you end up doing? Did you sell your collection that you had taken years to collect and build or did you do what I'm thinking about doing and that is just cherry picking from these various companies in various scales. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again soon with another.